significant moves last week uh, in terms of the products that they're going to sell in 2022, what they're going to sell this year. I say moves, not announcements, because they didn't officially announce, uh, put out a, a press release. Um, they were reported exclusively in private check cord comparisons, but I'm going to give you a quick recap of those three moves and what they mean. I'm Doug Gollin. I'm founder and editor of Private Jet Card Comparisons. Thank you for joining us on the Private Jet Card Comparisons YouTube channel. So while probably most of you uh, were thinking about NetJets and the Masters uh, this past uh, weekend because of their extensive sponsorship of pro golfers uh, and their affiliation with pro golf, uh, the big news was that they made three significant uh, 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 updates to the products that they sell. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go through those uh, very uh, uh, quickly. Um, uh, the most interesting was uh, that they are now offering the 25-hour leases in three-year increments on specific aircraft. So when they came out with the 25-hour lease program uh, as a temporary jet card replacement uh, last month. Uh, it was a five-year minimum commitment, 25 hours per year for five years. They've now introduced three-year options. And I will tell you uh, at the end which aircraft uh, uh, are available for three years, which are five years and where you have a choice. So that was, um, that was news item number one. News item number two is that NetJets is bringing back the corporate angel card as a 25 hour lease. Uh, the corporate angel card uh, was formerly known as the red card, but I think most people probably know it as the marquee cross country card and it's a great product um, for flights under 3.5 hours you get an uh, xls mid-size jet that seats seven passengers for flights over three and a half hours you get a super mid-size non-stop uh, aircraft uh, with seating for up to eight uh, that uh, uh, the service area with no service charges, just some uh, uh, international or uh, in the case of Hawaii, uh, uh, overwater navigation fees, there's no surcharge. So the nice thing with the Corporate Angel uh, card is while you can use it for the shorter flights, flights under three and a half hours and you get an XLS, you can use all of the hours uh, for longer flights. And for longer flights, particularly to Hawaii, particularly to the deep Caribbean, uh, the, uh, this NetJets product often comes in uh, uh, at the same or sometimes lower cost than other popular options out in the market. So that's coming back uh, as a 25 uh, hour per year lease. And then uh, item number three, uh, is that uh, they officially announced, they posted it on their website, they didn't send out a press release, but NetJets is not bringing back jet cards for 2022. Uh, according to their website, um, uh, the announcement said, uh, uh, what it said is the card program is an important part of our business. However, to preserve the level of service our owners deserve, we will not uh, uh, be offering the card program for the remainder of 2022. And so NetJet salespeople had been uh, saying, you know, insinuating that for the last couple months in letters to, uh, to prospects and customers. Uh, officially, um, uh, I saw it in a sales letter about a week ago, and then within about 24 or 48 hours, NetJets, uh, I guess, made it really official because they posted it on the website. So uh, news item number three, no jet cards for 2022. At least that's what they're 
saying right right now. So, uh, so the la the last uh, point I want to uh, cover is the now three and five uh, year leases. So, which um, uh, aircraft are valid for which type of lease? Um, so. Uh, for three years, uh, you can lease the uh, mid-size, the Citation XLS, the Sovereign, uh, which is a super mid, and then um, the Corporate Angel uh, um, lease, which is the cross-country card, which I had mentioned uh, uh, a little bit earlier. So those are all available for three years. And then um, for three or five years, your option three or five year leases the Phenom 300, which is the entry-level light jet, uh, the Bombardier Challenger 350, uh, stand-up cabin, super mid-size uh, aircraft, coast-to-coast -coast range, and then also um, three or five-year, 25-hour leases is the large cabin Challenger 650. That's got range to go from the um, East Coast, Northeast to Europe, uh, uh, non-stop, so a large cabin aircraft. So three big news items this week from NetJets um, covered in private jet card comparisons. So um, I'll put a link to the story. Uh, you can uh, go and uh, read it if you wish. Uh, no official press releases, uh, but all of this is news that you will be interested in if you're a private flyer, if you're interested in NetJets. So, uh, uh, we'll see what comes next, but um, clearly uh, NetJets wants to focus on the lease concept instead of, uh, instead of the jet cards this year. Uh, but by the same token, uh, they've decided to offer three-year leases instead of just the five-year leases that they launched with. So an interesting twist. We'll have to keep watching. I'll keep watching. And uh, when I have any updates, I will let you know. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Also, please visit privatejetcardcomparisons.com. Sign up for our free e-newsletter and learn more about how we can help you find the right private aviation solution for your unique flying needs, including long.